guys, Tracy here, and I just wanted to introduce you guys all to my new 27 day challenge series. I'm really excited about this. It's a new monthly series that will be on my YouTube channel where each month we'll all work on a challenge and have 27 days to complete it. Each month I'll randomly pick a winner who will get to pick next month's challenge and I'll also send the winner a little prize for my stash. So are you guys ready to hear this month's challenge? This month the challenge is to use up an old collection or kit that you've been holding on to. Maybe you started to work on it but never returned to it or maybe you've been holding on to it untouched just waiting for the perfect layout to use it or to break it open. So for this challenge I want you guys to pull out your old kits or your old collections and you know if you don't have a full collection that's okay or if you're new to scrapbooking and you don't have many supplies that you would consider old just go back and get one of something that you bought before that's relatively old compared to your other supplies and I want you to break it out and use it this month on at least one project you don't have to use it all up but make your project or your projects have as much from your chosen collection as you can and that'll make it more fun. The more stuff we can get scrapbooked this month and out of our stash and onto our pages and into our books, the better. So I know that a lot of people who subscribe to my channel are newer scrapbookers, so it's so this is a relative challenge, so if you've only been scrapbooking for a couple months or even just a couple of weeks, just pick something that compared to the, most of your stash is older. So um, I'm going to be pulling from the original Maggie Holmes collection and I'm going to show you that in just a minute. So when you've completed your project, it can be a page, it can be a pocket page, it can be a card, it can be a mini album or anything else that you want it to be. Uh, what I want you to do is leave a comment right here on this video linking and in your comment I want you to link or just direct me to a photo of your project either in a gallery like at scrapbook.com or on Pinterest or Instagram or wherever you put your stuff. Um, to make this challenge even more interactive, I'm going to ask you to consider joining our group on Facebook. There's a link below, and in this group you can chat about scrapbooking, share your progress on the challenge, and learn and get inspired by other members of the group. And I really love seeing all your layouts on the feed there, so feel free to share your work with, with us all, and you can share progress shots or a shot of your, of your desk as you're working on your project, and then also share a picture at the end or however many you want to share is fine. So I'd love for you to participate in the Facebook group, but do make sure that you leave a comment here on this YouTube video in YouTube, because this is where I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be using a, um, a website that chooses from the, from the comments that are left on this video. So make sure you come back here by the 27th and you'll be entered in the draw. So I want to show you guys what the prize will be. It's not always going to be a very big prize, but it'll just be a little something to celebrate the fact that you were randomly picked and that you participated in the challenge. So um, I have this little assortment of stuff from my stash. It's all new this time. It, it won't always be brand, all of it be brand new, but I just so happened to pick all stuff that I haven't opened yet. So this is a set of three dies by Chamel. And uh, it has this really cute globe and the word lovely. And then this really cute banner that cuts a little heart out of the banner as well. I really love that. This black piece here is what it looks like. It's really cute. So this will be coming to you if you win. And then I have two items from the Bella Rouge collection from Pink Paisley. These were one of my favorite things from 2015. I love, love, loved working with the Bella Rouge collection um, this year. And so I'm going to be sending these extras to you guys. I liked it so much that I, I got a little bit too enthusiastic and I ordered some, some came in a kit and I ordered some on Simon Says Stamp, and then I also bought some at my local scrapbooking store because I forgot that some was coming in the mail. So I ended up with lots of these, so I'm going to give you guys each a brand new full package of these really cute fabric flowers. They're really awesome. I won't take them out of the package because I know that you'll want to do that. And uh, also these sequined butterflies that look, they're sort of like bows, but they're butterfly bows. They're really, really cute. So I'll 
send those along to you. And then there's also a set of seven acrylic stamps, also from the Chamel collection. I haven't used these or even taken them out of the package, but they have some really cool little dots here that'll make it looks almost like splatter or um, just little dots for texture and then a corner splatter an old-fashioned camera a globe and some words and hearts and arrows really cute this is a set of Scraptastic Kit Club uh, stamps, and I couldn't find the uh, backing, but it is from Scraptastic. And uh, these are from the This Life Noted kit, and I'm not sure which is the pocket kit, and I'm not sure which kit it's from or which month it's from but this is one of one of the ones that I like a lot I've used this one um, so it's not brand new it has been used I used these uh, these circle these oval outlines and I think I used and then you said anyways I've I've used it but only once so it says so funny he said she said remember this you say this all the time I said and then and then you said and then some bub some bubbles for you to put some quotes inside and some quotation. And then I have this die that I got from Spellbinders. They were at the crop I went to when I went to Crop and Create last year in March. And they gave everybody at the crop this really cute die. They actually gave two dies. This one is a um, little palm tree two palm trees and uh, I just took off the little there was also a little piece of grass and I've used the piece of grass on a couple of cards so I'm gonna hang on to the piece of grass but I really don't have a reason to have palm trees because I don't travel all that often I wish I had reason to use palm trees but realistically I think someone else can get more use out of this than I could and when it comes time for me to travel I'll just either cut palm trees with my cameo or figure something else out no point in me hanging on to that then I have a bunch of these little die cuts from Heidi Swap. These came in a kit and I used some of them but not all of them. And they're the resist. So I'm not entirely sure if you're going to be able to see this, but there are words written on them. So this one says feeling the love. And there's a whole bunch of them in here, probably like 20 or more. Some of them are flowers and words. And anyhow, you can open them up when you win them and have a look. And they look really nice when you mist because the uh, resist stays white and the rest of it turns the color of the mist. Then I have a set of Dear Lizzie die cut cardstock shape. It's never been opened. These are the items that come inside. And I can't and I can't remember what the name of this collection is, but it's Dear Lizzie. And then I just have a couple of tabs that are fun for using with your pocket pages or even with your layers. So I'll throw the, those in. And then I have three flare badges from that are designed by Caitlin Schaefer from a Scraptastic kit. That's what they look like. And they're like that on the back. And so I will throw those little goodies in as well. So that's the little prize that I'll send out to whoever wins this month's challenge. And the challenge winner will be just randomly picked. It won't be based on votes or likes or anything like that. It's just going to be completely random. So please, by all means, no matter whether you're a new scrapbooker or a seasoned veteran, jump in on this challenge. I'd love to see what you come up with. I'm going to show you just really quickly what I hope to use this month. So I have the Maggie Holmes collection, her original collection here from Crate Paper. And this was, um, man, I don't know how long ago this was, but I'll just show you the sheet that has all of the different papers. So remember it had that bokeh paper. I loved that and I bought a whole bunch of it. And it also had this really nice handwriting paper that I loved. It had this cloud paper that everybody loved, including me. These really, really cute cameras and then some beautiful florals and doilies and, and paper and that sort of thing. So I have a whole lot left over from this kit. I did use it when I first bought it, but then I kind of stopped using it. So I have some full pieces left and I have lots of scraps. I have lots of the of the die cut cardstock pieces left. I have, um, like I said, lots of full pieces left. 
these are all full pieces and I bought more of this because I loved this bokeh paper so much and the cloud paper was another one of my favorites so I have all this left of this Maggie Holmes collection and I love it so much and I like how it all looks together that I've been not wanting to break it up and put it into my stash like sort it all by color and stuff I also it came with the collection pack came with these stickers which I cut the word stickers apart from the labels because I use I keep my word stickers separate but I just pulled them out so that I could try to use them on this layout that I do this month and I still have lots of the stickers left and I'm not sure but I'm pretty sure that these canvas Ta these canvas frames were from that collection. If they weren't from that collection, they were from the collection after that. And I have used a lot of these. I've done several layouts that used up a lot of on, on each layout, but then I've also used them a little bit here and there. But And I think I had two packs of them as well. And they a lot came in a pack. I think you get like 20 frames or something in a pack. So uh, I'm throwing these in and I'm going to try to use some of these or at least one of these as well uh, and like I said it might not be from the original collection but it is certainly an old item that I've had around my room for a long time and then I have the die cuts and this little baggie of die cuts includes both the Maggie Holmes collection die cuts and also the DIY collection die cuts they seem to coordinate really well together so when I was storing my dies I just threw them all in the same bag because I thought I could use really any of these dies for projects that I make with this collection as well as projects that I make with the DIY collection so I'm hoping to pull some die cuts out of this use at least one of these frames and get some of these stickers and papers and die cuts and stuff used up in a layout this month. So that's what I hope to do, um, unless if I change my mind, which you know has happened before, but I really would love to get uh, some of this stuff scrapped so that I can then break this kit up into its, it's, it, it's a collection pack, it's not really a kit, but I'd like to break this up. So. Feel free to do what I'm doing, pick something ahead of time, and then try challenge yourself to use it. Or if you just want to kind of shop your stash as you're scrapbooking, that's fine too, as long as you use plenty of items from an older collection that you've been sort of hoarding or, either, or just not getting around to using because you've bought new things since then. Um, dig this stuff out and get scrapping, and I'll see you by the 27th. I want to see your projects. Uh, linked up in the comment below. Share on the Facebook group as, as we go along. If you start working on this today or tomorrow or next week, make sure that you take some pictures and tell us what you're working on and tell us what you're using and uh, we'll all get inspired and have fun this month. So take care and have a really great scrappy month.